right, guys, we got a WR 250 yeah? and a KLX 250. We're gonna be climbing this hill right here. It's not that steep. At least I don't think. I don't know. Up there looks pretty. So right now I'm giving you a full throttle on the KLX 250. Woo! We got Craig on the WR 250. <laughs> Come on, full throttle, baby! <laughs> Come on. Come on. Alright, that's it for, for the KLX on second gear. First gear it has to be. I literally had it, you know, in second gear, full throttle. How's it going? Woo! Luckily, uh, out in this uh, climb is not. Alright, we got it out first. No! <laughs> Accidentally hit a neutral, but it has enough pickup to keep going. So this part didn't. Uh, Alright, here. So I'm a little concerned. Car is rocky. I probably should stay standing up. Right. In fact, I think this is just gonna drop straight down. So as we were heading back, we ended up finding a pretty gnarly route that shoots straight back into the mountains. This was probably my favorite ride of the entire trip. However, one bad thing though. This trail made my GoPro stabilization act a bit weird and was very shaky. I'm not sure why this happened, so I really apologize for it not being smooth. That's a tough trail, man. Oh, just that little section is tiring. So this is, uh, I think people call, I don't even know what they call this trail. Now I know that was a bit hard to watch with all the shaking going on. Again, I'm not exactly sure what caused this, but I sure hope it won't happen again. After some digging, I found out this particular trail is called Miner's Gulch. It seems we only did a section of it, mostly the east side, but I definitely would like to go back on the KLX 250 and try the whole trail this time. 
Now, I'm not sure if the entire trail is this way or just the east side of it, but the only way to find out is actually to go to it and try it out. Now as we reached towards the end of Miner's Gulch, it definitely mellowed out quite a bit and became a lot easier. Still was a bit of a challenge just because I couldn't really let off the gas due to the steep hill climb. If not, it will be pretty hard to pick up the power again, especially being at 11,000 feet elevation. And this was a solid climb to the top. So my guess is, if I were to start off on the west side of Miner's Gulch, it would definitely be a non-stop steady climb, all the way towards the end which I definitely look forward to. Wow, I think the ordeal is over. <sighs> oh my God, I'm tired. And by the way, we're at 12,000 feet, 13,000 feet elevation. Anyhow, be sure to subscribe, hit that bell button so you wow. can see my notifications, and I'll catch you guys on my next yeah. video.